that we're going to need an action hero in the movie. We really want somebody that you've never seen play nice before. I tell you what to do. And you do it! Underneath that tough exterior. Don't you wish you were here? He's a very, very, very sensitive guy. I think it's time you went nappy poo. He's such a dear guy. I'm sure that his publicist wouldn't want me saying this. Don't tell anyone you see me. Because everybody wants to think of him as action guy, but he's a sweetheart. Vin's got such a huge persona, everybody was scared when they first met him. I got bitten by one of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> it's, one of the, it's one of the hardest stunts I've ever done. A lot of people think that we use dolls instead of kids. It's not true. <laughs> Whoa, not cool! We use real, genuine kids. He loves those babies. This is my co-star. We like to talk about scenes before we get into them. He must seem so formidable to them. I mean, he's a big guy with a dark, deep voice. They don't get too bratty. But they really take to him. If I'm away from set too long, I start to miss Luke and Keegan. And they miss me, I hope. Do you, Keegan? They talk too much. I don't know, I was kind of nervous at first, like what he was going to be like and if he was going to have this huge ego and stuff like that. But it's not at all like that. Yeah. And there's this little baby. And he held on to this baby whenever he wasn't shooting. Clear, man with baby. Now, I'm not talking about occasionally. I'm talking about all the time. Keep him happy. And they'll do anything for you. He was so sweet and so loving and so attentive to these kids. This is how I communicate to my co-star. As macho as he is, he's like a little child. People should know that, I mean, but then he also loves to have fun, which is why he got along so well with the kids. You hang out with kids, sooner or later, you become a kid. Not to downplay that he's so rough and tough, but I would, you know, let him babysit my kids one day. My kids will be safe with me. A long time from now. <laughs> Hi there. Shane Wolf is America's toughest commando. Code name, Pacifier. But to protect this family, he'll have to face his toughest opponents ever. The Murninator. I'll be your daddy. The Unknown Ninjas. Nobody likes to show off. And Gary, <laughs> the Deadly Duck. Oh my... He bit me. Vin Diesel is The Pacifier. Rated PG. Starts March 4th. On March 4th, America's toughest Navy SEAL has a new assignment. Protecting those kids is a matter of national security. Ah! From Walt Disney Pictures. We're good. Nothing can prepare you. Ma'am, I've done it. Oh, oh my God. That's scary. He bit me. For a mission like this, Vin Diesel. We're going to be late. Not on my watch. Land! The Pacifier, rated PG. Shane Wolf was trained to handle any situation except his newest mission. Protecting those kids is a matter of national security. On March 4th. I'm not going to have time to learn all of your names. So you are Red One, Red Two, ah! Red Baby. Get ready for a comedy about courage. I'm your dead mother. Crawl! Honor. I've never left a man behind. And duty. <laughs> We're good. The Pacifier. Rated PG. In theaters March. Brad Garrett takes a two-page scene and turns it into something you just will be pressing rewind. Please, 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 this has got to stop. Enough. What they made me wear in the wrestling sequence, which if you want to cut to that right now, please don't watch us if, if you've already had dinner. Look, I'm smuggling fruit. Look. Did you see the back hair they put on me? I'm molting. I don't need a robe. This is not right. Who's a cup expert? I don't think a cup should have a border. No. I'm 
sorry. It's a little frightening. It's a bad outfit for me. It really is not good. I, I really wanted to work with the director, Adam Shankman. Adam, I would like to do my scene. Okay, please. The Hasidic WF. The accountant. The guy with the bad back. Adam, you know, he, he gives you a lot of trust. Is this too yeah. crazy? Is this uh, too crazy? Yeah. And that's, that's rare. You know, a lot of directors want to exactly buy the book. That's um, literally how it's done to go. Did you have a Jim and Ken do it, Robert? Okay. Then you give them a take the way it's written. And that's usually the take they use. They, they rarely like my ideas on really anything I do. Is that hard for you? Yeah. I'm an actor, man. I don't, I don't do this to prep. I train a little differently than Finn. What I like to do is I like to strap myself to someone who's working out. I find it uh, through osmosis uh, and really fluids. Uh, you can gain just as much, um, what do they call it, uh, uh, beef. Vin Diesel is going down, okay? I don't buy this big macho, big muscle stuff. I will kick his monkey behind all over this gymnasium. Push comes a shove. I'd wipe the floor with them. You shave your head, that's supposed to scare us? This isn't a threat, this is it's just you know, me and you. Because I'm street, my brother, I'm all street. Want to know which street I come from? The street of <laughs> comedy, Vinny. You know, he grew up in Forest Hills in Toronto or somewhere plush. Where's Vin? Was he scared? Where's Vin? On the way. On the way? I can't believe Vin wouldn't be here for me to work off with. What does he do for an hour? <laughs> Get him off the van. Banging on my thing. They're going to move on to another shop. You know, she would never say that to them. <laughs> Where is he now, do you know? You know, anybody can do this. I get it. You're big. I know what you're doing. You're in the trailer right now going, nine million, ten million, eleven. I know what you're doing. I'm working for scale and I'm eating like a, like, like a goat. You understand? Can you do something? Push some eggs under the trailer? I'd like a little food. But, uh... You know, meet me in front of Squiggies, and let's see, let's see what happens. For some reason, he couldn't bring himself to admitting I'll be beating him throughout the scene. Come out! Come out, you woman! He wouldn't see any of this, would he? Because I, I really, I would, I would run from a Quaker, to be honest with you. I'm really, I'm not a tough guy at all. I'm actually, I'm, I'm wetting myself just even talking like that about Vin. See, Brad, I told you. Better talk to your parents about that one. How do you see?